Rapid technological change can be a highly disruptive force. At the same time, it creates new opportunities and new ways of getting work done. Increased use of automation, AI and robotics is already having a big impact on the world of work. And it's likely that we're only at the beginning of the technological revolution. Just look at the application of robotics to the manufacturing and agricultural sectors. Other industries, like healthcare, have yet to feel the effects of automation, but are likely too soon. Though some jobs will be eliminated by technology, the human age doesn't have to be a battle of human versus robot. It's estimated that while nearly half of the job activities can be replaced by machines, fewer than 5% of occupations can be entirely automated using current technology. And this means that the main effect of increasing automation, at least for the time being, is to redefine jobs, not to replace them. Still, this kind of disruption is not new. In the 1970s, some expected that ATMs would replace bank tellers. Yet with greater use of technology, the number of transactions soared and banks began to compete by promising better customer service and handling more complex tasks. And today, we have more tellers than ever before. So if history is a guide, a fresh wave of automation should create more jobs than it destroys and ultimately allow people to pursue more meaningful, less mundane roles. Out of this period of talent shortages and labor market instability, we also see new work models emerging. The on-demand Uberization of work provides opportunities for people to supplement their income and get specific tasks done in real time. And this ability to harness talent locally, virtual or real, brings a new source of competitive advantage for employers. In the wake of technological disruption, we believe employers will increasingly use these different ways that work can get done, exploring new ways to manage talent and assess the kind of workforce they need. In the human age, choice, wages, and opportunities will be determined by skills. Those without in-demand skills will struggle to succeed. Overcoming this polarization of the workforce and helping this group upskill into new roles will be a defining challenge of the human age.